Welcome everyone to this Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program 1.0.5. Now in the previous few episodes, which I'm sure you have been watching and been gripped by, we have been building a number of parts to go to Duna. Uh, this particular one is our miniature science rover, you can see it here in its deployment casing. Uh, but there are a couple of bits and pieces that we really need to sort out. Now, Mike Aben uh, did point out to me that we are going to be a little bit short of electric charge. So uh, what I thought we could do is maybe just squeeze a couple more batteries on if we move uh, this seismic accelerometer out of the way. So let's go to uh, batteries. Let's just type in uh, battery down here. We can probably cram another couple of batteries here on the front. Let's just slide that down there like so. So that squeezes in a couple more batteries. So uh, they should be okay there. But we still have to squeeze uh, this accelerometer back on. So I'm not sure where we might be able to fit that. Oops. Uh, so let's try maybe, uh, maybe somewhere here at the back. So let's see if we uh, slip one on here. We only need the one. So let's make sure we um, go the right way. There we go, one. Let's see if we can squeeze that in there. We can close this up. So let's have that closed, ready to uh, deploy when we arrive at uh, Duna. So uh, that is that done. So let's just put this case back here on the top. There we go. So that's back on the top. Now one thing I also want to do is just make sure my stack decoupler doesn't throw my uh, probe, my little uh, my little uh, rover here into the ground. So I'm going to reduce the decoupler uh, force uh, to, uh, well there we go, somewhere down at, uh, what's the lowest we can get it to, six, that'll do. So it'll just push it away uh, into the base of the container. But I also don't want it uh, rattling around inside, so let's get some struts. Uh, so let's have a look, struts, there we go, and see if we can squeeze in one or two struts just in here, just to hold it in place. So there's one. And let's see if we put another one here on the side like so. Don't have to be symmetrical, they're just there to hold everything. Is that, I'm not sure that's actually on right. So let's just control Z, throw that away. And now I didn't think it was on right. So let's get this back on, there we go. Try once more. There we go. Doesn't matter it's not symmetrical, it just matters that it's going to hold our little craft here stable during launch. We've got the extra batteries, thank you very much uh, Mr. Aben. Uh, we've reduced the decoupler force on our decoupler there and we have stabilised it. So let's just uh, close up the science bay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a sub-assembly if I grabbed hold of it right. Uh, so let's uh, make that a little bit easier. Let's make this the root part. Can we do that? There we go. So this is now the root part. So let's drop that on the sub-assembly zone and call this the uh, uh, the rover part. There we go. So that's the rover for Juna. Uh, let's save that and pop over into the VAB and begin the construction. Right, well I've loaded up our scanning satellite, so it's about time we closed up all the parts. So let's just close the scanner, the panels, um, and then uh, what we need to do is just bring in, here we go, just bring in our uh, uh, extending transmitter there and then just close up the Communitron 8888's uh, panel. So that's everything all closed up. Uh, so now it's about time we start assembling. Uh, so uh, next thing, we're going to need a decoupler for this, so let's get uh, a decoupler, one of these uh, tiny decouplers uh, should do just fine uh, like so. And then we need an adapter, so let's go and find the adapters. Now we need the adapter that's going to, uh, uh, it's going to fit our uh, larger, uh, there we go, our large 
science um, bay. So that's a large science bay adapter. So let's now go and get our sub assembly. Oh, I wonder where it's gone then, but of course we've got uh, a filter on. So let's go and get our sub assembly. There we go. Turn it right way up and drop it there on the top. Now I've just noticed one of those struts and that was the first strut we placed so that's still not quite right so let's pick that off and just replant it there we go hopefully that will be all right for when we arrive at tuna <laughs> oh dear uh, right so let's close uh, close the bay up we might come back to that in a little bit uh, so there are quite a lot of bits and pieces we will need to add. The most obvious of which is going to be uh, the shell we're going to put around the outside, the fairing. Uh, so let's, uh, let's do that. Let's get the fairing base on. Now unfortunately I don't have the large uh, fairing base yet uh, for... <laughs> I'll get my words out uh, for procedural fairings uh, and obviously one part that I've missed is another decoupler so let's get that on there decoupler uh, this will have to be the large decoupler there for uh, deploying this uh, rover at the last moment and as I was saying I don't yet have the large size for this fairing base uh, you can see the blue lines just there even if I create the largest fairing I can get still don't quite reach I could add uh, an extra radius but that kind of makes the uh, fairing rather bulky so what I'm going to do is just use one of the standard stock fairings so if we go and get one of the standard uh, stock fairing uh, bases uh, so let's go into aerodynamics and get ourselves where is it the airstream protective shell 2.5 not quite attached there we go so we can now create quite a streamlined fairing that's going to fit right around these parts like so it's a very missile shaped there but that uh, i think that fits pretty well to the silhouette of our vehicle so that's going to be the upper section and this is going to be the main section that we want to arrive at Duna all we need next uh, is the transfer section uh, so we can use one of those fuel tanks and then our favorite poodle engine that'll do excellent for our transfer so this is going to be the basis of our transfer stage, but I think we need a few extra bits and pieces. First of all, a reaction wheel, just to keep everything on the straight and narrow. And of course, some of those panels we cannot do without, the uh, OX stat photovoltaic panels. So let's get, uh, let's get a complete set on there. What's that, eight? Uh, get those on there so that should keep us fully charged regardless of our direction uh, so let's just lift this up there we go give ourselves a little bit of space so this is going to be the section that we are going to be uh, transferring to uh, Juna from Kerbin so of course we've now got to get it into orbit so let's do that next uh, and that's we're going to use uh, a pretty good uh, standard orange tank beneath our Rockamax brand decoupler. So let's go and get uh, the orange tank. Uh, where are we? There we go. The Rockamax Jumbo 64 fuel tank. And beneath that we will have ourselves... Uh, what engine shall we have? We will probably have a skipper because I don't think we'll need the power of the mainsail. So that's the basic of our pencil rocket. But uh, 1.03 thrust to weight ratio is not going to get us anywhere far. So we are going to have to use some asparagus staging. And I think I'm going to use, where are we? I think we are going to use the liquid fuel uh, engines, boosters, these London Fire Brigade KR1 times 2 twin bore liquid fuel engines. So these are going to go on the side, not eight of them anyway. So those are going to go on the side, so that's what we're going to use, but we're also going to use some radial decouplers. So let's go and have a look for the decouplers. And I think what I'm going to use 
I normally use these radio decouplers, but just for a bit of artwork, I think I'm going to use these hydraulic... Ma oh no, I've still got eight, uh, so let's go two is all I need. Uh, we're going to use uh, these hydraulic manifolds, there we go, so that's two. Uh, and then let's fit two of these here on the side. Get them there we go so i'm going to make sure they are in place yes they are now we'll sort out the staging in a minute but it's a little that little thing i want to try now under most circumstances uh, you just stick some external fuel ducts uh, you just stick them on the side here and have them feed in i mean that's that's okay i mean okay that works but there is a cosmetically improved method of doing this uh, and i think i've seen veos human do this and i've seen a few other people do it as well uh, if we take our offset and we click on our boosters come on there we go and we pull them out we can create ourselves a little gap and into that gap we can squeeze a fuel duct there we go and then we can go right down in there, squeeze this fuel duct in between those two pipes there, like so. And then we can go back to offset, click on our boosters, and we can stick them back in. Go on, there we go. So that's a perfectly good set of boosters with the fuel pipe still in place and still working. Perfect. Uh, so now what we need to do is we need to cap off uh, these two. Uh, let's turn these round, not that way. Uh, let's turn these round, not that way, this way. There we go. Uh, let's cap off these two boosters with something a little bit more aerodynamic. Uh, let's go around, there we go. Something like that. Uh, and then we need to slip in our struts. Now uh, we could go for the cosmetically improved method or not. So let's just put a couple of struts here at the top. Let's see if I can squeeze one right on there. There we go, that'll do. Uh, that'll do. So for all that uh, cosmetic improvement we did with the pipe, <laughs> I've just stuck some struts on the end. Uh, so uh, that is uh, the basis of our rocket. A uh, few more bits and pieces to do. First of all, I think we really should uh, sort out our staging. So that's the uh, two boosters. Let's just come back a bit. Uh, two boosters and our main skipper. There are the uh, decouplers. And we then have, there we go, so that's those two there for our transfer stage. We've then got our fairing shell. Oh, this is going to be a bit awkward to see, see if we can uh, squeeze right in here. So there's a fairing shell. Uh, inside there is, there we go, just about make it out. Uh, it's the uh, large uh, Rockamax brand decoupler there. Now, these parts we're probably going to decouple manually, so they're not really important for the purposes of staging. Uh, so uh, let's just finish off the base of the rocket. Now, I like to use uh, some of the, uh, let's go and find them, where are they? The, uh, here we go, the active AVR8 winglet. So let's get four of those here on the base uh, to help us uh, with our ascent. Are they in place? Yep. Yeah. And I think they clear the boosters. Yes, they do. So that's good. Uh, next, we're going to need our launch stabilizers. We'll have four of those uh, here, uh, two on the orange tank, and then two here on the side booster. So let's make sure they are in the correct section of staging. Uh, and then let's just lower this back down. There we go. So it's a little bit closer to the pad. Uh, so what next? Uh, well, next, I think I just need to uh, secure this load in here and also add some parachutes. So let's do the uh, load uh, now. So let's get the struts since they are there and get a couple of struts. Oh, here we go. Let's see if I can get a couple of struts attached here. Is that two? Yep, so that should hold... Uh, that payload in place. Next I'm going to go and get some chutes uh, and we'll use uh, these radial mount chutes and these are going to be the chutes that we'll use to drop 
our little payload here gently onto the surface. So let's get those positioned. There we go. So that be uh, what that lowers our payload. And I'm also going to get uh, from the science bay another one of these Kerbal engineering units uh, because that will be handy to give us a bit of statistics uh, once we have uh, detached our uh, probe here at the top. So it'll just help us lower uh, this uh, rover onto uh, the surface. So there we go. So we've got that, I think, all sorted out. Uh, so uh, let's double check our staging, in particular where the shoots have gone. There goes our shoots. We're probably going to need those in a separate stage as well for when the time comes. So we have our boosters, our main skipper, we have our launch stability enhancers, uh, then we have our manifolds, then our uh, transfer section, we have the fairing here, we're moving up to the top here, we have our fairing uh, that we will release uh, once we are at Duna and then we have the various parts inside of our uh, vehicle. What I'm going to do, I think, is I'll break this up into uh, smaller parts because all of these parts will probably stage separately as the time comes. These ones down here at the bottom are the ones that we're going to need for our ascent. So let's name this. Uh, now I'm going to choose a very particular name, uh, Duna One. And the reason I'm going to call Duna One is because Veos Human does an excellent series uh, on uh, uh, launching uh, craft, both for a story-based series and also tutorials. So this is a little uh, uh, shout out for his series. So go and sign up for his channel, uh, sign up for his uh, Patreon to encourage him to make even better craft than he already does. But with that said, I'd like to thank you for watching, and in the next episode, we're off to Juna. See you then. Bye bye. Do 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 do